When I first moved into my new house and did some renovations, one of the things that was on top of my to-do list was getting an automatic door lock. I would always forget my car keys and house keys when I go out, so having a door lock that can easily be accessed remotely via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth with my smartphone was a cool idea. Incidentally, the folks at Bosma reached out again to us and offered to test out their new smart lock. Hi, this is Abel Andres of Yugatech and today we're going to install and test out the Bosma Aegis Smart Lock. I've tried and used a couple of smart locks before. Some of them required a lot of tinkering and carpentry to an existing door. Other systems might need that you completely replace your entire mechanical lock. Which is okay as long as it's compatible and you don't need to do a lot of drilling. On the other hand, the Bosma Aegis is basically an add-on to your doorknob or a replacement to your existing deadbolt if you have one. But first, let's check if your existing door is compatible with the Bosma Aegis. If you're going to use this on your main door and it has a deadbolt, then that should be fine and we'll just need to replace the mechanical knob with the Aegis Smart Lock. So, what's inside the box you ask? Well, you got some documentations here. The Wi-Fi gateway, 4 AAA batteries, 3 types of deadbolt adapters, whichever fits your existing deadbolt, and the Bosma Aegis Smart Door Lock itself. The Smart Lock is surprisingly light actually despite its size and has a somewhat hexagonal shape to provide ample grip when you turn it like a doorknob. The chassis is made up of solid aluminum while the middle section with the logo is made out of polycarbonate material. They claim this was very easy to figure out and install and true enough it took us all of 10 minutes to do this. So here's how we did it. Take note you only need a screwdriver for this installation. First unscrew and remove the knob of your deadbolt and stow it away including those long screws. There's a strip of sticky tape that comes with a box so you can temporarily tape the other side of the deadbolt once you unscrew so that it will not fall off. You will need to check if the door swings to the left or the right so that when you install the locking plate, it's oriented correctly. Screw it in, make sure it is aligned correctly, then insert the correct deadbolt adapter from any of the three pieces that came in the box. Next, attach the main door lock and secure it in by locking the clamps around the sides. That's it! It's that simple to install the smart door lock. Now to test this out, install the Bosma app on your phone and add a device by searching for Aegis. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on your phone. Once the Aegis is added into your Bosma app, you will need to calibrate the lock. Then you are good to go. You can now remotely lock or unlock your door using the Bosma app. Also, when you plug the Wi-Fi gateway to the nearest power outlet, you can connect to the Aegis with your home network and even access the door lock remotely as long as you are connected to the internet. That's what we really like about the Bosma Aegis. It's very easy and quick to install. It works with your existing deadbolt and you can control it with your phone via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's also compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant. For more information about the Aegis Smart Lock, visit bosmasmarthome.com and get it for only $119.99. And that is all. Since we've been using the Smart Lock for over a month, we've never had to worry about bringing our home keys anymore. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or click on the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. Check out our website at yugatech.com and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, this is Abe signing off and I'll see you in the next video.